And, you know, uh, so there's a couple reasons why it seems to me anyway that people don't witness as they should, right? Either because they are, well, mainly it's fear, I think, is one of the main reasons, right? People are afraid that they either will look silly like some crazed, you know, Christian that's out there and that sort of thing, or their fear that somebody might ask them a question that they don't know the answer to mm-hmm. and now they're embarrassed, right? And so, <clears throat> um, you know, looking as the crazed Christian, well, well, you know, I mean, sometimes we'll have to do that, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but having answers, I mean, you know, Peter tells us we need to be able to defend our positions, mm-hmm. right? And so um, uh, the more that we can help people to have answers for their uh, positions and why they hold to them, uh, the more confidence they can have in their witnessing. And we're commanded to make disciples. We're commanded to go, right? And, uh, and, so, um, uh, and so if we can help people to have more confidence that way, then they are uh, more likely to witness to their friends and family and, and, and folks that they meet. Right. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if you're encouraging people to, oh, go, you know, go out to your, neighbor, your own neighborhood. Well, my neighborhood is, is uh, filled with uh, primarily uh, Muslim men. And I keep getting this question of, uh, show me in the Bible where it says that, that, uh, that God, uh, that Jesus said, I am God, worship me. That's a very common one. If, if someone's having that, then uh, obviously as, as, as a individual Christian, they should also be seeking out the answer. It's not, it's not on the, the, uh, the, the pastor only, or the, the elders only, or that church only to, to, to do that. But, um, okay. I've, I've heard this question a number of times. Let me do the research. But if, if you know, uh, like your church, or our church uh, t- tends to be in an uh, area where we're kind of surrounded by um, um, Muslim people and where you might interact with the community, then that's something that we should be able to teach on and also an encouragement to, um, to, to go and witness. And also that, that's an important question. You know, it, it, do, do we believe that uh, Jesus is God? Yes. Can you show that in scripture? Again, that's what we're always going back to. And then uh, you can kind of break it down and say, okay, why is that being said? Why is that important? You don't need to know like, oh, Ahmed Didat, uh, back in the day, he had this question that stumped Christians forever until, you know, the, the almighty James White came, came through and, <laughs> and preached on the, on the door, on the, on the very place where the Muslim prayers are held. And he, he struck down that question for all time. Well, no, you're just incorporating that in, into your teaching and your understanding, you know, who, who your audience is. It's, it's the same way that, that Paul wrote his letters. He, he's addressing the, the, the fundamental questions that the, the people have or are experiencing. I mean, look at first and second Corinthians, you know, the, 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 Hey, uh, you're, you're doing very wrong things, very sexual, immoral things. Here's what not to do. And then here's how the church can come along and, and help with that. I mean, that's apologetics. Apologetics doesn't have to be this, you know, modus ponum or, or you know, if, if, if then a, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you know, not everyone that has to pull up. That stuff will help, right? And if you know nice. that, that's yeah. good. Yeah. But it doesn't, yeah. But, but it's, it's really, from my perspective, kind of a branch of theology, really, right? And, yeah. and you're teaching, uh, you know, theological concepts so, and so that folks understand exactly what they believe. Right? Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's a, um, a, a means to an end. Apologetics isn't, isn't first of all, uh, if you're wanting to sound smart, you'll, uh, it's the, uh, the, the Star Wars uh, episode one, uh, there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> you know, no matter how smart you think you are, you're always going to find someone that knows something that you don't. And be humble by that and expect it and be okay with that. Um, you know, it, uh, for, for, for not living in a, a in a, a shame culture that we've done away with all shame. Um, we seem to be really bad at saying, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Let me make something up on the spot. Um, yeah, don't do that. Right. <laughs> yeah, don't, that, that's heresy. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, uh, you know, you're not going into to, to, to do battle in that way. Your uh, apologetics is, is there to um, kind of um, um, make you more rounded and grounded. It's, it's looking at things and saying, okay, what is, what is the Christian worldview uh, view of war? 
uh, and, and, you know, uh, when, when nine 11 happened, why were the churches filled? And then why did they empty afterwards? Why did new atheism rise after nine 11? Why, why, why wasn't, why wasn't the church prepared? Or, um, I, I think back if, if, if you're old enough, uh, uh, to understand the Da Vinci code, there was so many questions. There was, there were, there were main areas in, in throughout the country where pastors took the time to stop, pause, have to go read that terribly written book, terribly written book. So bad. <laughs> Oprah, you're, you're the worst thing that happened to Christianity because you made me read uh, Da Vinci Code um, and, and have to address, well, was Jesus married? Now, that's a very uh, niche uh, uh, um, uh, idea. Uh, you know, it was in, in a book, uh, one, uh, I always forget, it's, it's like one, one Body, One Blood, something like that. They tried to sue Dan Brown, but uh, uh, lost. And so uh, the church was unable to have answers like, uh, you know, what, what happened at the Council of Nicaea? Did, did, they, did they throw out the, the small version of people that said, um, uh, you know, no, Jesus isn't God. He's just a, a merry guy. And we, we walked with them in favor of the, the might of Rome coming down. And we, uh, we addressed that in, uh, um, uh, uh, was it, um, Kostenberger's book right. and, and, and that's available too. But in that one, we did it in four minutes. So you don't even have to spend that much time. Now you can have a, a period where you're like, all right, we're going to read Da Vinci code or the, the cliff notes version and address each and every fallacy within the book. But if you're just going through and you kind of know, okay, what, what is the world talking about right now? And you're, you're incorporating that into your, your discussion. You, we won't be sidelined with things like the gay Christian uh, movement. Uh, you can be gay and Christian. You can be, you know, uh, 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 an atheist and a Christian. Canada had, <laughs> had a, a female pastor there's a contradiction in terms right there, but a female pastor who claims to be an atheist. And so, okay, how is that allowed to happen? Well, clearly you can't save every church, but you know, this, this is coming from a, a solid place of wanting to teach the whole council of God. And so you're going to have to be dealing with things like uh, critical race theory and, and you have to do it without the pizzazz because that's where you get into the, well, uh, critical race theory says that you're, you're, all condemned people for for uh, slavery and and uh, you should um, literally whip yourself. Okay, we can talk about those in hyperbolic terms, but if you're not presenting what's the normal person that's that's uh, you're going to be interacting with and say, well, why is this the incorrect outlook when it comes to Christianity? Christianity is just a, a white man's religion. Is I mean, is it? <laughs> if it is, okay, let let's own it and let's talk about it and let's put it in the proper context, but you're preparing your, your congregants to go out into the world. And one of those out in the world things, the things is, that they have to deal with. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I, I look at, uh, you know, uh, Pilgrim's progress with, with, uh, facing vanity fair that the, the Christian and, and his friends had to, had to face the, this entire onslaught where if you said, uh, uh, I'm not going to take part in your, uh, games, you were going against what, uh, they said and they, well, they were condemned to die. And so, um, you know, that's, that's a, I think a strong visualization of, of what is going to happen in, in, um, in the world that your congregants are facing. So yeah, slow down, crowdsource it. It doesn't always have to be about you. 